Let me glory, Father, this thy child returns to thee. Precious Lord, I ask for mercy. Let me not implore in vain. All my sins I now detest them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your peoples, we pray, O Lord, and in your goodness set us free from the bands of the sins we have committed in our weakness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many. There were on every side, denounced, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting and forgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you, I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord. Praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praised be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surge ar around about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death over overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Please stand there. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Your words, Lord, our spirit and life, you have the words of everlasting life. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord 
be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. The Jews pick up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, It is not written in your law. I said, You are gods. If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true, and many there began to believe in him. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Na reject ka na ba sa buhay mo? Na bang tagalog na reject no? Or uh, pinaga katwa? Or have you ever been rejected in your life? Yeah, magandang pagmuni munihan natin sa araw na to, uh, sa lalo na sa gospel natin yung araw na to, tungkol sa pagreject kay Jesus. Alam niyo, ang rejection ay eh, isang bagay na probably halos bawat isa sa inyo, ako rin, eh, hindi na naiiba. Na-experience natin ang rejection sa buhay natin. Maybe when we were kids, growing up, and even until now, while we are still working or dealing with our friends or community, there are times we are rejected. And it's not an easy experience. Mahirap ma-reject kasi malungkot, you feel alone, you feel paralyzed, wala kang magawa, mas gusto mo, nasa kwarto lang. And sometimes it also leads to depression. Ay, gusto mo na lang na uh, matapos na yung buhay mo. Maraming effect ang rejection actually. At even in our generation right now, even in the context of our time ngayon, maraming taong nare-reject lalo na yung mga naapektuhan ng COVID-19, eh, they are isolated. And even their community are afraid of them. Or meron namang iba, yeah. They have committed just a single mistake, probably, for some baguets here, nag-post ng uh, wrong opinion sa social media, then umula na sila ng maraming bash. And even, even if, I think, if you're still doing good thing, people will still hate it. So there are, we cannot avoid it. There are many people who would still go opposite on what you think and what I have experienced by Jesus Christ. You see, the point is, rejection, though it is common, rejection is a very, very serious matter for us individuals because we are born to be social, to socialize. We are born to be with others. And yet, rejection forces us, the effect of it is to be alone and to be sad and to experience yan nga, uh, paralysis and loneliness. But you see, also, rejection can also be in the opposite. No? It might either break us or make us to something new. Ito yung uh, isa sa mga tinuturo sa atin ng gospel na ang rejection eh, is, is actually part of our Catholic faith. It is actually part of our Christian faith. That uh, even Jesus Christ himself experienced rejection several times. 
in his life, even his family rejected him. His relatives, they rejected him. You are just a son of a carpenter. Paano ka magiging ano, karapat dapat na magsabi ng mga bagay na ito? He was even rejected by the most beloved uh, apostle he had. Peter denied him three times. At marami pa iba na na-experience si Jesus, kahit yung mga tao na pinakain niya, nag-miracle siya. At the end, they were shouting, crucify him, kill him. How would you feel, no? Na ikaw eh, for all your life, you've been just doing good things to other people. And then at the end, you'll know, they'll betray you, you know that they will do something bad about you. Mahirap mag-move on. At pati ngayon, sa panahon ngayon, marami ang mga nakaka-experience ng depression. But it is also a venue for us to become more mature and more Catholic, more Christian, and more accepting of our God. More mature of our faith. Paano, no? Bigyan ko yun ng example. No? Meron akong kilala, isang babae, of course, I will not name her, she experienced a lot of rejection in her life. Even to the point na na-reject din siya ng asawa niya, no? naloko siya ng asawa niya, and she felt so much weak. But you know, instead of, instead of uh, magmukmuk na lang sa loob ng kwarto and everything, well, I, she said, oh, no, ako rin naman ang makakatulong sa sarili ko. So she started doing little good things, especially, you know, in this pandemic, Since she has experienced rejection, she knows how it feels for those people who experience uh, rejection, especially yung nagkaroon ng COVID-19. And that's the reason why, you know what she did? She started buying buko and making buko juice and sending it to those people who were affected by COVID-19. Because she knows how it feels to be rejected. See, sometimes, those rejections transform us to become better, no? In simple ways, she was able to express her help to people who are affected. How about you? Are you like the people in the gospel for today, yung mga Pharisees, who were the one who was condemning those people who doing good works? Or are you the one condemning also yung mga tao na reject? Anong ginagawa natin sa panahon ngayon, no? Tayo ba ito matahimik lang sa kwarto at matatako? But you see, the, the, the gospel for today challenges us not to, to be paralyzed, not to be scared, especially when there are threats of rejection all over our places. Jesus himself kept on emphasizing, look at my good works. Just dwell on the good works. Do not dwell on the, on the issue itself, but dwell on the good works. Ito ang itahamon sa atin ngayon ng araw na ito, no? Ng ating Panginoon na kung e, ikaw man ay eh, nare-reject, huwag kang ma-paralyze, but instead, start doing little things also for others and also for yourself as well, no? Do good works. Hindi magastos tumulog. We can be creative with it. You can send good encouraging messages to those people who are rejected through social media, through letters, or if you have extra, then might as well give some fruits or buko juice as well to those affected. Sino-sino pa bang magtutulungan? Tayo rin naman. Let us spread positivity in this world, not negativity. Sabay-sabay tayo, magtulungan, bumangon dito sa pandemyang nararanasan natin. Tama na ang rejection. Let's help each other build a good world. Please all stand. Let us pray that God may continue to guide us through these prophets so that we may spread the message of Jesus Christ. For every petition, we will answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the church through its leaders may fulfill her mission of proclaiming the gospel without compromise let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer 
that the message of Jesus, like living, may influence every level of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians may seek self-discipline, especially during this penitential season. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the trials of life may not be discouraged us, but enable us to grow in our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who imagine that they do not need the sacrament of reconciliation may be moved to humble repentance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we also pray for our personal intentions and the intentions of this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, you sent us the words of the prophets to sustain our hope. Grant that we may be strengthened to do your will and to witness to our faith in you throughout our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim.
Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Sok, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints of please you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you Lamb of, Lamb of God, God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave, leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that will do us harm through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The Summer Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on April 21, 2021, third Wednesday of Easter. Novena Masses will begin on April 12 until April 20, 2021. The schedule of Masses will be at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m and will be streamed live 
through social media platforms of Minor Basilica and Ma via Manawag Dominican Radio 102.7 FM. We cordially invite you to participate in the feast and the Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses during this feast and Novena, you may approach the Basilica personnel in the religious store and Mass intention counters or visit our website www.manawagbasilica.org or FB page facebook.com slash minor basilica manawag official thank you please stand the lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you all the father and the son and the holy spirit amen the mass is ended we go in peace thanks be to god prayer for the blessing of the sick God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosary images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.